I guess it's all right. Anyway, uh, making uh, some dinner, lunch, dinner, breakfast for <laughs> for us. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you're doing well, taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other. Um, I was watching a video last night, and uh, this guy was talking about uh, an experience that he had. He was, um, oh, I think in Canada somewhere, and um, there was this guy who came up with, uh, he had like a busted down bike and stuff, and he was asking people for, you know, if they could get him some water. And he felt kind of bad, so he gave the, you know, bought the guy some, a bottle of water and uh, gave him whatever, you know, whatever money or change he had in his pocket. And the guy was real thankful and stuff. And um, come to find out, the guy was a, a veteran. And um, he went on to tell about, you know, that his, his wife was real happy with him and proud of him and stuff. And um, I don't know. He said, you know, it, it was just something that he didn't think about. He didn't think about, you know, uh, wanting the guy to thank him or even expecting the thanks. And I've been in that position where you just do something to help somebody just to do it and not expect anything else, not expect any pat on the back or reward or whatever. And um, he said, where did we, as a society, where did we get away from that? You know, um, I've been on both ends, you know, uh, needing help and wanting help. And um, I think um, in, our, in our culture, um, I, it, you know, you do things and you don't expect people to thank you for it. You just do it because it's right. It's the right thing to do. And, um, you know, we've gotten so materialistic, so greedy that we don't think about things like that, you know, anymore. And that's kind of sad. You know, I think, uh, you know, I tried to raise my guys. You know, a lot of you know I have two sons that are in their 20s, early 20s right now. And um, when they were small, we used to put a food basket together and take it to the local children's shelters and uh, drop it off. And that was nice. It was nice. You know, uh, times were better that <laughs> back then. And... Um, I think they still remember it. I'll have to ask them. But it was a nice thing for us to do, to do. And it would be for, like, the holidays and stuff. And there were a couple of times when we did take food to the, uh, the local uh, soup kitchens for people that couldn't afford to, uh, to have a meal. And uh, that was nice. But these days, you know, people have gotten away from that, uh, from doing good things for each other, just to do it. And it's, it's, it's pretty sad. Um, I really don't have a topic for the day. I've been wanting to do a video on, for like beginning, beginner cooks, or people that are on their own, going on to, you know, on their own, and what, uh, what things they might need to, to run a, a nice kitchen and to, you know, my channel is all about uh, basic, simple cooking, basic, simple cooking. You don't need a lot of fancy stuff. You don't need a fancy equipment or a world-class kitchen to make a, a good meal, a really good meal. And depending on what you can afford, um, you can eat really good. You can eat really well on a budget and um, enough, you know, have enough. You know, if you're a single person out on your own and you're wanting to uh, uh, have, um, you know, uh, an idea at least of what to make and how to make it, you know, this is what my channel is about. And uh, uh, I started this so that 
my 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 sons when they're out with their friends, visiting their friends and stuff, they could look up a recipe, see what's on the shelf, and put something together. And I'm I'm still thinking on it. You know, I want I want this to be, you know, kind of a teaching teaching channel, I guess. Um, sharing recipes and stuff that are easy to make, very affordable. And uh, there's been times in our life when, uh, you know, we we didn't have a lot of resources, a lot of money to buy stuff. And it's still like that. You know, money's tight. You've got bills to pay and stuff like that. But I always um, have somehow, always have enough for food. And I don't mind spending a little extra for some ingredients um, because we're going to eat it. That's going to you know, feed our body. I sent my son to the store a little while ago to get some bread. And at our local Albertsons, they have these rolls, which are awesome, good. And we use those for a lot of stuff. Sometimes even just to eat by themselves, they're really good. But it's like four bucks. Um, for me, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it, you know, because we're going to eat that with our meal and it just adds to, adds to the meal. Um, if we're going to get like sandwich bread or something like that, you know, I'll go for the, the budget, the budget bread. And that, you know, it's, it's, it's no different than the expensive breads unless you're going to get like, uh homegrown ingredients and stuff like that you know and artisan bread or whatever <laughs> if you can afford it go for it <laughs> so anyway um i'm just going to make some hamburger and potato stew well it's not really a stew it's just a soup and um i cut i ground or browned off uh one pound of hamburger this is about six or eight potatoes they're kind of small so i put a little extra and I'm just going to put that on top and I'm going to add some water and let that boil until the potatoes are soft and that'll be it you know that's all there is to it the simplest simplest thing but it's so good if you try it you will be amazed you just need a little salt if you like chili put a little chili in there and uh it's uh it's a it's a good meal might not be vegetables and proteins and uh everything else but it will keep you ha your your stomach happy it will keep you full for a while anyway we were thinking about um uh the economy these days the the government is not the best that we've had the economy is really bad you know things uh some people say things will will get worse some people say it'll get better I'm not sure which camp I'm in. I'm looking forward to uh, having to having a, a better economy, better government. I don't know if YouTube will shut me down because of them saying these things, but this is me. You know, this is my opinion. And, uh, you know, free speech is letting people you don't like say things that you don't like. You know, that's what it's all about. <laughs> but... Um, I just wanted to catch up and touch bases. And uh, things are going, eh, I guess okay for us. I was going to ask my sons while we're eating what uh, their happiest memories were. Or have been so far. And, uh, you know, they're in their 20s, so they don't really have a lot of memories yet. A lot of things, you know, to, to draw on from experience. And that's fine, you know. That's what life is all about, is making memories and uh, uh, enjoying the moments that we do have. You know, uh, there's uh, people, you know, always talk about, what would you change, you know, if you had a, you know, if you could change anything in your past. I always tell them nothing, nothing, because everything in my life has led up to my having sons and um, and trying to raise them correctly to be good people 
I think um, in their hearts, uh, they have good hearts, very smart guys. It's just the economy is holding everything back. And I feel for them. You know, I really do. There's been times in my life where I've had to, like I said, you know, I've had to scrimp. I've had to save. Um, uh, it was pretty hard times. But um, when I decided to get my life in order and start planning for a family and stuff, I really knuckled down and made things work. And it, it wasn't easy, and it's still not easy. But, you know, I, we could be in, in very bad shape. Uh, there's a lot of countries in the world where people are living on the streets. Families are, you know, being kicked out of their homes. The countries and, you know, just bad. <laughs> and, you know, compared to those places, we're doing pretty good, you know. And if you compare, I guess what they say, count your blessings, count your blessings, you know, be be grateful and happy with the things that you do have. And, um, you know, not uh, try to compare yourself to the neighbors or some other country, you know, just uh, what I do is I, I focus on my family, you know, my family comes first. And, you know, I don't know where that came from. It's just me. But um, I hope uh, everybody, you know, is doing well. I really do. And I pray for people. I hope that, uh, hope and pray that the things will get better. And I have a, a optimistic outlook on things. I think this is the year that things will change. Things will get better. And uh, everybody will be happier. That's my hope. That's my prayer. So anyway, um, I, <laughs> I, I got back in the habit of not showing when the food is done, you know, and, and serving it and stuff, what it looks like. I'm going to do that again today. You know, this is going to take a while, so I don't have a lot to talk about. But um, uh, everybody be safe, be well, and as always, I hope you have food. May you always have food. Bye.